Magma have a unique approach to solving the end fitting challenge. Uh, we have what we believe is a real oil field solution. This is an example of a two inch M pipe product and I'll take it apart just to show you the components. So we're able to build up the end of the pipe uh, by applying more material to, to thicken the wall. We're then able to machine the outside diameter of the pipe and also machine an internal seal pocket. And this forms a structural connection uh, for the M-pipe end fitting. We don't rely on any bonding uh, or adhesives uh, and we keep the composite material and the steel component structurally separate. The pipe is then interfaced with a steel outer coupling uh, and then we have a standard AX type gasket which forms the seal between the steel and the composite element. And then this would be the steel interface hub which connects with the end fitting and on this you would expect to see either a flange or a hub or some form of proprietary connection. A secret to the solution then is to, is to add a, a pre-tensioning member where we're able to thread in a locking device which once we've assembled it we hydraulically preload the connection and lock in the preload between the metal collar and the composite pipe. This gives a very strong connection uh, which we believe is, is stronger than the pipe in axial loading and bending and therefore we're very comfortable to have the end fitting located in the highest load point of the riser system. So you've seen the end fitting at small scale, two inches, but an important advantage of the magma design approach is that it's very scalable to larger diameters and higher pressure ratings. This is a six inch, 10,000 PSI uh, pipe used as a subsea jumper spool. Here you see the standard pipe coming into a slightly thickened section just before the end fitting, which gives it local strength. And then you see the standard collar, which is used to preload the composite pipe below. On the end, uh, just out of view, is the threaded end fitting, which we use to preload uh, the connection during assembly. And then at the end is a standard flange or hub or proprietary connection. It's uh, relatively easy to integrate uh, monitoring systems into M-Pipe. That's one of its good features. Uh, here you can see a deep water drilling riser boost line. Here's the end fitting that interfaces with the drilling riser flange. And here we've added uh, fiber optic brag gratings onto the end of the line which allows us to measure the strain uh, in the axial direction and in the hoop direction. This allows us uh, through this connection to monitor the performance of the riser uh, in real time and understand its integrity through its life. This allows us then to understand uh, and react to the uh, uh, integrity of the joint and also of the drilling riser and plan for its appropriate maintenance and inspection. Steel-based riser systems often struggle to achieve an acceptable fatigue performance. This is because they must accommodate a large number of cycles, tens of millions of cycles per year, as a result of wave loading and vessel motions. M-Pipe, on the other hand, has a very high fatigue performance by virtue of the materials we use and the laminate designs that we employ. This is a good test that we use to test, in this case, a 2-inch 10,000 psi intervention line under high cycle, high strain fatigue. In this test, we repeatedly bend the two inch pipe around a former, which induces, in this case, a 3% bending strain in the pipe. And this is repeated continuously until we achieve very high cycles. This gives us confidence that the pipe is able to deliver a given fatigue performance in service.